Hey, it's Grips, and this will be a very quick tutorial on text reveal by a request from a viewer. So, I've already got the footage in the timeline. Basically, it's the same as the intro, cars and people going by. As the taxi goes by, I want to have the word New York revealed. So, let's go into the title track, double click, double click in the preview window, and then type in New York. All right, let's place it where I can see it properly, around about here. So obviously as the taxi goes by, the, slowly the word New York will be reveal, revealed. There you go. Now, if you are using version 2023, you'll have the new option of enter, middle and exit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just first take this text and put it into the overlay track because I'm gonna create a mask and I need to wedge the text between the overlay track and the main track. So I'm going to also animate the middle and the end of the text. So I'm going to double click it. So this is highlighted and now I have the access to the middle animation and I'll probably do something like a little drop and something as simple as that exit. I'm going to do a little fade and it'll probably be this one right here. And let's have a quick preview of that. Boop. All right. So that looks kind of neat and it should fade out at the back there you go I'm actually going to change that drop because that's not the one I want so I'm going to go back to the middle drop um, yep drop I'm going to go the first one and I'm not going to make the duration is very short so let's have a look at that so you can you can play with this there that's the, exactly the what I want so all we need to do now from here is create the mask that hides the letters until the taxi goes by Let's highlight this clip and then just hit the mask creator. Okay, so we're gonna look for the timeline. You can see here, let's click through it. Okay, so here about here, we can see the taxi coming in. And if I just move it a couple of frames forward, I can start the mask there. So around about here, because remember the text is roughly around about here. So I really don't need the mask until about here, but I'm gonna draw the mask anyway. So let's just draw, say a good little rectangle that's about all I need. Now, if I use the move mask, you'll see that this rectangle is actually over here when I want it over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight this, copy that, and I'm going to go back to where I think the taxi is coming in. A little bit more, oh, maybe a bit too far. And then all I'm going to do is paste the first keyframe. So technically, that mask doesn't move until... I make it move. All right, so this should all be a static mask. Yep, so this mask stays completely still. And then all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move it a few frames and then I'm gonna adjust the mask. Like so, make sure it's on the move tool. You'll see that my cursor is a little finger or the hand, I'm just gonna slightly adjust it. And I'm gonna do this again. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until right at the end where I think the mask is now revealing the text. That should be it. I think by now the text is well and tru truly revealed. So let's have a look at that. Okay. All right, so here it is. Let's have a quick look at it. So there's no text here, and then it should start to reveal. There you go. All right, so we're slightly off. As you can see, something jumped in right about here. Okay, yep, here we go. That looks pretty good, actually. I like it. I like it. See how easy it is? So, obviously, masking takes the most time, but just be patient. Do as I did. Just move the frame a couple of... Sorry, move the mask a couple of frames, and then it just slowly adjust it that way. If you did make a mistake... Okay, so we do see something odd here. Or is it just my imagination? Yeah, see how this is coming out wrong? All right, so obviously I'm coming in too early or too late, and I will have to adjust that. Okay, so the little issue that I had was actually with the text option. If I double-click, went to the middle. The middle one was interfering it because it repeats one cycle. So it jumped in, and then it started the animation. So I had to change the animation to kinetic uh, energy, and then it worked out quite well. Let's have a quick demo again, and you'll see. It actually works out a little bit better nice so if you do play around with this just make sure that you do have the right animation so it does work properly now if you do want to copy what i did basically i turned the footage into charcoal i highly recommend that you actually rendered it out first 
and I'll show you why. Let's let's grab the charcoal filter. So you'll find that in New Blue Stylizers. Click and drag that onto this footage, and then click and drag it onto your mask footage. Now what you'll see, as I go over to the text itself, you'll start to see it's slightly wrong. This is the main track here, and then this is the mask track here. And you can see it, there's a slight difference in color. And that's not going to really look good when you're trying to sell this illusion. So if you render out the footage and then apply that filter, because it's all one file, it's going to come across much better for you. So after I rendered the footage out, I applied the charcoal filter. I used custom motion over here. You go motion, custom motion, and did a very small rotation on the end. And then I just simply added the song. And at the end result is what you saw in the beginning. And there you go, very simple text reveal. And as always, thanks for watching.